What's up editors, I'm Tyler Casey and today I'm going to be going over some tips that I like to use when editing music videos and any of my projects that just help me stay organized and also can save the day. Nothing's more frustrating than losing your project or anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to, so let's say you're working on an edit and you have your sequence here, but let's say you want to try a different version of it or if you want to try a different effect that you're not sure that's going to work is I would definitely, let's say I want to try and add something and I want to try a new effect I want to make I want to do some stuff like this and then I go for a long time and I edit I do all sorts of stuff and then I go to undo it but I let's say I can't go that far back in the history so then I'm pretty much stuck with that edit I can maybe go to auto save but that's a lot of hassle so my number one tip is create multiple sequences so all you have to do to find your sequence you go reveal sequence and project so you can find it and I should already rename this I'm let's say this is my car mount video I'm gonna name it car mount sequence one cool and now all we have to do is come over to here right click it go to duplicate and then we'll scroll back up here where are we at and right there so we have sequence one and then we have sequence one copy one so we could rename this we can name this I don't know let's say I'm doing overlay effect cool so now we can open that and then like let's say your buddy comes over and he wants to screw around with your edit you can let him do whatever he wants but you're still gonna have what you originally had in the beginning this is super helpful it's kind of like backing up but it's also saving what you did before so if you go off on a tangent and you don't like it you can always revert back to what you did in the you can always revert back what you did in the beginning so I find this really helpful my second tip is it's pretty simple if you ever mess up really bad like let's say I got this over here I got this up here and so let's say everything's messed up all you really have to do is come over here to editing and you click reset to save layout and it's gonna bring you right back to where you were so sometimes when you do go to color over here I can't get it to do it but sometimes when I'm editing and I do a lot of work and I switch over to color effects my screen goes completely gray so you guys might have encountered this with premiere especially with the new update all you have to do is click right here and go to reset to save layout and it's going to reset you right back to where you were you can also go window and you can go to workspaces and you can go to reset to save layout you can also save your layout here so like let's say you like your timeline this big and you like it stretched over here if you want your screen to be like that all the time all you have to do is save changes to this workspace or save as a new workspace and you can save your own workspace so that's pretty cool my other tip I'm not sure if this is a legit tip or not but I would sometimes when I go to export it does not work when I have a lot of red giant effects doing it through my graphics card even though I have a fast graphics card I have the 1080 Ti in my computer but so I'm using GPU acceleration when exporting but sometimes it crashes when I use a lot of red giant effects so sometimes if your export isn't working maybe you could export it through the CPU this is always a second choice you can always try this um, that's another suggestion I have if you're having rendering problems and then another tip is I would have I would have my scratch disk all the same as the project my next tip is if you're getting a lot of crashing when you're doing editing in Premiere and you're editing for long hours, I would definitely up my autosave feature. So the way to change your autosave is all you have to do is you go in here to edit, you go down to autosave right there. So right now I have it set to every 10 minutes. Uh, let's change that to every, I don't know, I'm gonna do five. And then you could say and then you can save your backup project to creative cloud if you want to and then you could set the maximum number of project versions you could set it really high and have all the projects auto saved or it'll start deleting the old ones after a while um i might leave mine on yeah i'm gonna keep mine on every five minutes right now and then 20 project versions so that's pretty much all the tips that i have for you guys today if you guys have any more tips or have any questions feel free to comment them below if you guys found this video helpful make sure to subscribe and comment I'm Tyler Casey, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.